Our practice today is about harnessing the energy of our hearts. In yoga, we say that the main components of our being are body, mind, and heart. In yoga, we use the words heart, spirit, and soul relatively interchangeably. I'll try to use the word heart today. So our bodies are, it's relatively easy to harness the energy of our bodies. Our mind, it's a little bit trickier, but we can still harness the energy of the mind. The heart, however, is a wild river that just won't be tamed. But it's the heart that gives what we do with the body and the mind a beautiful energy. So you, can, you can't uh, tame the heart, but you can tap into the energy of the heart. And that's what we'll try to do today. I have a poem from Najwa Zabian to uh, lead us into this heart energy. It's called A New Language. If my heart could speak, it would need a whole new language to express the way I feel. If my heart could create a piece of art, artists could not handle the power of its feelings. If my heart could sing, composers would not be able to put together its symphony, the softest ever made. If my heart could smile, it would flutter out of my chest and into my eyes and see the world with a touch of beauty and a hint of joy. So today I want us to harness the energy of our hearts so that it can speak whatever its language is, so that it can play whatever instrument it wants to play, so that it can create art, so that it can fly out of your chest and into your eyes and look at the world with a hint of grace and joy. So find any seat that feels comfortable to you. Place uh, both hands over your heart. Close your eyes and feel the beat of the heart underneath you. You cannot control it, but we can tap into its power and harness that power so that our words, our creations, our deeds have a beautiful energy that allow us to move to speak, to create with joy and with grace. Make a commitment to yourself to lead with your heart as we move our bodies, as we connect bodies and minds. Let the heart join in. Let the heart be the beautiful energy that brings grace and joy to what we do. Take a deep breath in through your nose release through your mouth and then release your hands down to your lap or to your legs and open your eyes. All right, let's get on our mats on all fours, hands and knees. So settle into your knees, settle into your hands on your mat. And on an exhale, take a cat pose, round the spine, let all the breath out, open between the shoulder blades. On your inhale, take a cow pose. This is a back bend, your cow pose, it opens the heart. Exhale, cat pose, open the muscles across the back. And then inhale, cow pose, contract those muscles behind your heart to open it up. A couple more, exhale, cat. And inhale, cow, get used to moving with the rhythm of your breath. And then after your next cow pose, come into a neutral spine. You're gonna take your right arm out to the right in a cactus arm. So lift that arm up to about shoulder height. And then lift your left leg up so your left foot is pointing, the sole of your foot is pointing up at the ceiling, and your left knee is about hip height. And now reinforce into your core here, belly lifting up, low back is strong. We're going to pulse the arm and the leg up five times. Take a breath in, exhale, pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, keep lifted, take your right hand back. If your right hand easily grabs your foot, 
Hold on to it and lift your chest forward. If your right hand does not find your foot, take your left foot down to the ground, lift your chest forward, and then exhale, hand down, knee down. On your next exhale, cat pose. And inhale, cow pose. And then from neutral, really reinforce all the way around the core. You want these pulses to come from the arm and the leg, not from the core moving back and forth. Take your left arm out to the side in a cactus arm. Lift your right leg up, sole of the foot up towards the ceiling. Right knee at about hip height. Take a breath in as you exhale, pulse up for five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted. Reach your hand back. Grab your foot if you can and open up. If not, foot goes down to the ground. Lift your chest forward. Look forward. Open across the chest and then exhale. Hand down, knee down. One more time. Exhale, cat. And inhale, cow. And then make your way to downward facing dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, fully let all the breath out. Walk your feet up about five inches or so, and then widen your feet out as wide as your mat. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. So the hand can be higher up on the shin, maybe down to the ankle. Maybe you wrap your fingers under the outer edge of your left foot and twist around. Inhale, release your hand back to the front of your mat. Second side, take your left hand to the outside of the right leg. Use your exhales to help you twist around a little bit more here. And then release, hand back at the front of your mat. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat and stand in forward bend, folding over your legs. Bob your head around a little bit, loosen up your neck. And then take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, tops of the shoulders, lift away from the floor and then bring your hands away from your back, folding over, opening up, shoulders. Loosen through the head here. It's through our arms, through our hands that we reach out and let the heart energy move. Now release your hands down to the ground, fold over the legs, and then on an inhale, rise up to stand, reach up high, touch your palms overhead, and then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. As you inhale, take the arms back up overhead. You'll interlace your fingers here. You can have the index fingers pointing straight up, steepling up. Hug your biceps near your ears to stretch up a little bit taller. As you exhale, arc over to the right. We're gonna take a quarter turn, circle to the back in a back bend. Another quarter turn, circle around to the left, side bending to the left, quarter turn to the front and keep going. Turn over to the right and back and left and forward. One more circle around, left, back, right, forward, and then inhale up the middle. Exhale, release your hands down, interlace your hands behind your back, keeping your core taut. Start to lift the hands away from the back, lift your head up, try to get the pinky fingers a little higher and then exhale, release back down. Inhale, take your arms back up overhead, interlace your fingers, stretch up tall, squeeze the biceps close to the ears, take a breath in as you exhale, arc to the left, and then a quarter turn to a back bend, pointing the fingers back behind you, over to the right, and then forward just a little bit. Two more circles around, to the left, and back, and right, and forward one more time, all the way. And then inhale, lift back up, unlace the fingers, exhale, hands to your heart. When we arrive here, hands at the heart, 
we remember our commitment to try to harness the power of the heart. So we're not just moving our bodies, we're not just stretching or doing calisthenics or circus tricks today, there won't really be any circus tricks, but we are really moving with energy from the heart through each pose. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, stretch up high. Exhale, forward bend, fold down low. In your downward dog, put a deep bend into your knees and press your chest back towards your thighs. Squeeze the shoulder blades onto the back and feel that energy in the back that's helping open your heart up. Try to hold that as you straighten the legs back out. Good, and then inhale forward into plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, come into cobra or upward dog. Feel that hard energy here in your back bend, and then on your exhale, lower back down to your mat. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand or a strap or something that works as a strap. Hug your heel in towards your hip. Couple of breaths here just to open up front of the thigh muscles, the quadriceps. And then exhale, release, stretch your leg back, bend your left knee, reach back with your left hand or your strap, hug your heel in. Good, exhale, really stretch your leg back. We're gonna come up to downward dog. You can come up with me in a more muscular way or just roll up to downward dog. To go the more muscular way, tuck your toes under, get your legs strong, hug your belly in, lift your shoulders up, take a breath in, a little bit of puff of air out to lift you into chaturanga and then straighten the arms plank and then hips back and up, downward facing dog. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, big breath. Stretch up tall, touch the fingers overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Heart energy, here we go, moving with breath. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, float down low. Inhale, lengthen out halfway. Make your way through your vinyasa, jumping back or stepping back. Flowing through, we'll meet in downward facing dog. When you get to the back bend, the upward dog or the cobra, take a pause there to feel that energy of your heart lifting. Muscles in the back, open the front. From downward dog, inhale, right leg back and up behind you, lift it high. Take your chest closer to your left thigh. And then exhale, lunge your foot to the front of your mat, come up to warrior two. From the heart, energy radiates out through the arms, through the hands. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, lift back up. You're gonna to turn to take a wide leg stance. So you'll turn to the left, square the toes up here, hands to the hips, and then exhale, bow forward, fold over your legs. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, bring the hands away from your back, folding over, opening the back body, opening the chest, opening the shoulders. And then inhale, lift back up. So horse stance here, turn the toes out a little bit, heels in a little bit, you'll bend the knees and then place the hands above the knees. You're gonna sit your hips back a little bit, lean your shoulders forward a little bit, take a breath in. As you exhale, twist to the right. So bring the left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, four more, exhale, right. Inhale, left. Inhale, exhale, right. Inhale, exhale, left. 
Inhale, come to the middle, straighten the legs, square the feet up, take both arms up overhead, standing back bend here. So interlace your fingers overhead like we did in those circles we made earlier. Squeeze the biceps near the ears, back bend, open up the front of the body, finding that power of the heart. Big breath in, and then exhale, hands down to the mat. Walk your hands around to the right, coming to lunge towards the front of your mat. One leg dog, right leg, lifts back and up behind you, one leg vinyasa, or two leg, or no vinyasa. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold over the legs, and inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We go to the second side now, inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down. Inhale, lengthen. Either jump into Chaturanga or step into Downward Dog or Plank. Flow through and meet in Downward Dog. Inhale, left leg back and up behind you. Lift that leg high. See if you can reach your chest towards your right thigh a little bit more, yes. And then lunge your left foot up to the front of your mat. Rise up to warrior two. Back heel roots, find warrior two. Steadiness here as you hold the warrior two. And then reverse warrior, lean back. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Turn to face the long side of your mat, so you'll turn around to the right. Square the feet up. Exhale, fold over. Hands down to the mat. This time we'll take six side lunges, so take a breath in. As you exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, make these your own. Keep going. Right and left. Last time to the right. And last time to the left. And then come to the middle, fold over. Walk your hands around to the left, turning back to the front of your mat. Step back, one leg dog. Lift your leg high, one leg vinyasa. Flow through, and then front downward dog. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold over your legs, and inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come to your heart. We're gonna take that flow we just did and do it again. So you have an idea of what's coming. When we get to the end of what we did last time, I'll add on a couple more poses. See if you can keep that energy of the heart going with the new poses we add on here. If you don't have to think so much, you know sort of what's gonna happen. Hands to the heart, harness that power. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, stretch out. Take your vinyasa or simply step back to downward dog. From downward dog, inhale, right leg, back and up behind you. Exhale, lunge your foot to the top of your mat. Virabhadrasana two, rise up to warrior two. Reverse warrior, lean back. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, square your feet up. Forward fold. Interlace your hands behind your back. Bring the hands away from your back. Opening, opening, good. And then inhale, back up, horse stance. Turn the toes out, bend the knees. Hands come just above the knees. Hips go back a little bit, shoulders come forward a little bit. Breath in, as you exhale, twist right. Inhale, middle, exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, right. Exhale, left. Last time to the right. 
And last time to the left. Inhale to the middle, straighten the legs, square the feet up, take the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, a back bend here. Open the heart up, lean back, let the whole front body stretch. Harness the energy of the heart, inhale back up. Now we add on triangle pose, take the arms out front and back, turn the front toes forward, deep breath in, exhale, stretch forward, Lower the right fingers to the floor, left fingers to the sky. Open up, lean back a little bit. Let your heart be here in the pose. And then exhale, hands down at the front of your mat. Lift your back heel up. We're going to side plank pose on the left hand and outer edge of the left foot. So first option is just to turn those right toes to the right and lift the right arm up. Second option is to stack the right foot on top of the left, lean back, opening up here. One more breath in, and then as you exhale, right foot back up to the front of your mat, lower the back heel down to the ground, warrior one, sweep the arms forward and up, lift and open. Keep your warrior one, but bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment here to feel the beat of your heart, to feel that wildness, and see if you can harness a little bit of it as we go forward. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Option for a one leg flow, two leg flow, downward dog, or child's pose. Oh, everybody's moving together, it's beautiful. All right, second side. Remember, lead with your heart. Inhale, left leg high, lift it up. Press your chest back towards your thigh. Exhale, lunge your foot up to the front of your mat. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Reverse warrior, stretch back. Inhale, back up. Straighten your front leg, square your feet up. Exhale, forward bend, fold over. Six side lunges, we'll bend into the right knee first. And inhale to straighten, exhale left. Go as deep or stay as high as you like. When you finish that sixth one, straighten your legs, fold over the legs, and then inhale, rise up to stand. Triangle pose. Arms come out, front and back. Turn the front toes forward. Deep breath in. Exhale. Stretch out and down into triangle. So you're not just stretching your body, you're moving it. You're adding heart energy in here to really make it yoga. And then from here, hands down on your mat. We'll step into side plank pose on the right hand and outer edge of the right foot. First option is to turn the left toes out to the left and take the left arm up. Second option is to stack your feet, lifting up, maybe taking your gaze up, opening up here. And then bring that left foot back to the front of your mat. Spin your back heel down, warrior one, sweep the arms up. Lift your chest open wide. Squeeze the muscles around the upper back to open the heart. And then just exhale and bring your hands to the heart. Feel that energy. Use it. Exhale, hands down to the mat. One leg dog for a one leg flow. Or both feet on the ground. You know what to do here. Breath takes you pose to pose. Heart infuses everything you do. From downward dog, bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold over your legs. And then inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Close your eyes, take a moment here. Feel the vibration you're creating. Hear the song your heart is singing. And then open your eyes. We'll move on with a chair pose. 
hips down. It's a back bend. Open up across the chest. Exhale, hands back down to the ground. Straighten the legs. Inhale, lengthen out. It's vinyasa time. Hands plant. Feet go to the back of the mat. Breath sews together mind, body, heart. All right, lunge your right foot to the top of your mat. For warrior one, back heel down to the ground. Inhale, rise up. Find that back bend again that opens you, that lets you tap into the energy of the heart. And then exhale, hands come to your heart, twist around to the right. So bring your left arm across, point your right elbow towards the sky. Rotate around, this bothers your low back or your left knee, lift your back heel up, otherwise keep the heel down. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one, and then straighten your front leg for Parsvottanasana. Bring your hands around behind your back, so you can hold your hands at your waist, hold your elbows, or bring your hands to reverse prayer. Open the chest up, Deep breath in, keep the chest open as you bow forward. In order to keep the chest open in the bowing, you have to really work those muscles in the upper back and the outer shoulders, pulling them back. It's that strength in the back that allows you to harness that energy in the front. Good, inhale, lift back up, and then take a little back bend here. Back bending over your arms, over your hands. Keep the back bend, release your arms, take them up overhead, lifting up, stretching the front body, and then exhale, let it all go. That's it, hands down to the mat, one leg dog, one leg flow, option. Bring your feet to the front of your mat, hold into the legs, and then chair pose. Hips go low as you lift through the heart. Even take your gaze up and then press into the feet, stand all the way up. A standing back bend here. Be strong into your core so you don't dump into your low back. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Second side, chair pose, lower down. And lift up through the chest. Exhale, forward bend, straighten the legs. Inhale, lengthen out. Meet me in downward dog. Vinyasa takes you there. Or a simple exhale to move your feet to the back of your mat. From downward dog, lunge your left foot to the front of your mat, warrior one. Back heel roots down, and then inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Open across the chest, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Feel that energy there, and then use it for your twist. Breath in, exhale, twist to the left, right arm comes across. Left elbow points high. Use your inhale to lift back up to warrior one and then straighten your front leg for Parsvottanasana. Take your hands behind your back. Hold your hands at your waist behind your back. Hold your elbows or press your palms together. Strong, firm upper back, strong belly. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades together to lift the heart higher. Keep the back bend, release your hands. Take them up so the biceps are near your ears, opening the chest. And then exhale, you're done. Hands down, one leg dog, left leg lifts. 
as you flow. We're going to take the second side starting here. So remember, you'll repeat what you just did with the right leg in front, and then we'll add on. So right foot to the top of your mat. Warrior one. Open the chest. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist to the right. Left arm comes across, touches down onto the right leg. Rotate around. Inhale, lift back up, warrior one. Straighten the front leg, Parsvottanasana, hands behind the back, chest is broad and open. Bow forward on your exhale. Lift up on your inhale. Back bend on your exhale. Keep what you have here. Stretch your arms near your ears, palms facing each other, opening up. And then on an exhale, hands to your heart, chest is upright. So we're going to keep, try to keep the hands at the heart here. Take a breath in as you exhale, warrior three variation. So bend into your front knee, lift the back heel up, and then gently peel the back foot off the ground. Coming into warrior three with the hands at the heart, feeling that full energy of the heart. Half moon pose. Maybe you don't even need your right fingers on the floor. Maybe you just lift up your left side body. Maybe the right fingers go down. Left fingers go up. Oh yeah, you got it. If your right hand is still at your heart, now is the time to lower it down to the mat. Ardha Chandra Chapasana, that's half moon sugar cane pose. So from the half moon pose, bend your left knee, reach back with your left hand. If you can, grab your foot and open up into a back bend here. If you can't quite get the foot, you can still open up, lifting the heart up more. And then exhale, let it go. Both hands down to the mat. Left foot to the back of the mat. Right leg lifts back and up. One leg dog, one leg flow. All right, now's the time for the second side. Lunge your left foot to the front of your mat, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the heart. Twist around to the left. Right arm hooks onto the left leg. Rotate around. Inhale, back up to warrior one. Take the arms up overhead and then straighten the front leg. Bring your hands around behind your back now for Parsvottanasana. Squeeze the muscles in the upper back. Bow forward over your front leg, pulling your left hip back and your right hip forward. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, back bend here. Keep the back bend. Unhook your arms, take them up near your ears, opening up the front body. And then inhale, bring your torso up, hands to your heart. Harness that wild river in your heart, take a breath in. Exhale, warrior three variation. Bend into your left knee, lift your back heel up. Find your warrior three, stay steady with your gaze. And then lift up your right side body to come into half moon pose. If you need to put the fingers down, of course, put them down. Maybe you can keep your hand on your heart, tapping into that energy there to help it lift you. If your left hand's still on your heart, now's the time to lower it to the mat. Half moon sugar cane, bend your top knee, reach back with your hand, grab your foot and then press open. Even if your foot and your hand don't meet, still take your head back. Open your heart up here. You got it, beautiful. And then release, hands at the front of your mat. 
Step your foot to the back of your mat, one leg dog, one leg flow. We will meet in child's pose when you're done with the flow, or if you're not taking the flow, you go straight to the child's pose. Give your weight to the earth. The earth will hold you. Let your weight settle down. Let your heartbeat settle down. Big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're gonna make our way up to knees and elbows. So bring your knees uh, hip width distance apart and bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Palms are flat on the mat. Make an effort here to hug the belly in a little bit and lower the chest towards the floor a little bit. Keeping your hips over your knees, start walking the knees back. So the arms will get straighter. Your chest will come to the floor or towards the floor. Maybe your chin or your forehead comes to the floor. Try to keep that energy in the belly. Try to keep that energy in the upper back here. This pose is called Anahatasana. It's the pose for the heart chakra. Anahata is your heart chakra. So you're opening up that energy there. And as you're opening it, you are staying connected in the belly, in the upper back, arms connected into the shoulders so you can harness that energy. You're not letting it just pull out onto your mat. Slowly start to walk your knees back in, returning to knees and elbows, and then hands underneath the shoulders, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up. We'll come into pigeon prep with the right leg in front. So if you're not liking pigeon prep with the right leg in front, then you can come onto your back for a reclining pigeon that looks like this. Just need to get a little hip opening in here. Take a breath in here, and then as you exhale, start to take your heart closer to the ground. So maybe you put a block underneath your forearms or a book, whatever you've got. Maybe your elbows come all the way down to the floor. Maybe you stretch the arms out in front and take your forehead to the mat. Any version here of pigeon, that does not give you pain, but does give you an opening. Couple more breaths here. Letting your energy descend a little bit. Start walking your hands back up. So we'll take a back bend here in pigeon. So first version of the back bend is hands on the ground or on blocks. Hug the belly in and then squeeze the muscles in the upper back to lift you up. Second variation of the back bend, you'll bend your back knee, reach back with the left hand, grab your foot and hug it in. 
Third variation is mermaid pose, where you'll tuck your toes into your elbow crease. Maybe you square your shoulders towards the front, or you square the shoulders towards the front, take that right hand up, hook your fingers together, press your head back into your arm, open your chest up, feel the power that you create in this pose, and then exhale, let it all go, release your leg. We'll step back to downward facing dog. And now pigeon with the left leg in front. Again, you can do this reclining pigeon on your back if you get any pain in your ankle, your knee, your hip or low back. Take a moment to set up your left leg and then as you're ready, start lowering down. And we'll take some long breaths here. Start to walk your hands back up. So when you lift your chest up, you're already in a back bend. So maybe lean forward a little bit, hug the belly back, draw the shoulders back, and then lift your head up. This is your first version of the back bend here. You can stay here. Second version is to bend your back knee, reach back with your right hand, grab your foot, draw your heel in towards your hip. This might be your back bend here, taking your left shoulder out to the left. Third option is to come into mermaid, hooking your toes into your elbow crease, maybe taking that left hand up, reaching back, hooking the fingers together, pressing your head back, taking your gaze up, pulling that whole left side body back. You're harnessing that energy, exhale, let it go. Release back, downward facing dog. Lower your knees to the mat and take a child's pose. Widen the knees out, shift the hips back. Settle in for a couple of breaths here. All right, we are gonna now come to a seat on our mats. So you can just lift up out of your child's pose and swing your legs around in front, or some of you might wanna go to downward dog and then hop your feet through until you come to a seat on your mat. Good. So let's bend this right knee You'll reach down with the right hand, grab the outer edge of your foot, lift the foot up, and then draw your knee underneath your arm and back behind you. We're going for an arm balance here. We'll go through the steps together and see what happens. Use your left palm to hold on to the sole of the right foot. Right arm comes on the inside, and you want to work that right leg as high on the right arm or maybe even up over the shoulder and then lower your hands down. You gotta squeeze that right arm onto the shoulder. Bring your hands down a little bit, not on either side of your hips, but a little bit in front. This is called one leg shoulder pressure pose. So you keep that pressure on the shoulder, press down into your hands, lift your hips up. See if you can push your hands down enough and straighten the arms to lift the hips up. Once you get the hips up, see if you can lift that left leg up off the ground for a second and then lower back down. Straighten both legs out. If your left quad is crampy, 
you can shake it out a little bit. It's a lot of energy in that left leg to lift it off the ground. Let's try the second side. So bend the left knee, left hand holds onto the outer edge of the left foot. You're gonna pick the foot up and then draw the leg back under your arm. Right palm holds the sole of the left foot. Left arm comes underneath. You grab onto whatever you can grab on the back of your leg and work that leg up high on your shoulder or on your arm. Once you've got it there, bring your hands down to the ground. You want to lean forward here. Think about pulling your belly back behind you. Take a breath in and as you exhale, think about straightening those arms and maybe lifting up the right leg. That's the whole pose. And then you lower back down. Straighten both legs out. So those poses require a lot of body control. Now we're going to do another pose that requires body control, but a lot of heart opening. It's called intense stretch of the east or the front body. So we can bend the knees, take your hands a little bit behind your hips, shoulder width distance apart, roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. Put your head in line with your spine, take a breath in, and as you exhale, push the floor away with your hands and with your feet, lifting your hips up. A couple of breaths here, think about squeezing that upper back to lift the heart higher, harnessing that heart energy, and then exhale, lower your hips back down. Uh, make fists and roll your fists around one direction and then the other because we're going to do that pose one more time. This time maybe with straight legs. So you can start the pose with straight legs or start the pose with bent knees as we did before and then straighten one leg and then the other. So I'll show you coming into the pose with straight legs. So hands behind you again. If your wrists are feeling intense here after doing those arm balances and then this back bend. You can turn your fingers to point out to the sides. It's a little bit easier on the wrist. Draw the shoulders back, head in line with the spine, deep breath in, push down into the hands, push down into the feet, lift the hips up, and try to take a few breaths here in your back bend. It's a lot of intensity in the back body to open the front, feel that power of the front. And then exhale, let it go. Lower your hips down to the mat. We'll counter pose with a forward bend. So legs are straight out in front, take the arms up. And then exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift back up. So if you have something near you that you can use, you can use a block, you can use some sort of bolster or pillow that's got some firmness to it. You can use a foam roller, anything like that, that you can put at your upper back. So you're gonna take that prop and place it at your upper back and lie down over it. So we'll go there right now into that back bend. So take your prop, it can be a book, a big book maybe. And you want the prop to be right underneath the shoulder blades. And if you can, put the back of your head on the floor. The back of your head does not reach the floor. Maybe find a smaller book and place it under your head. You can take your arms out to the sides or wherever you can take the arms to let your chest open up here. Let your breath be long and rhythmic. Because you have something underneath supporting you, you're using that to lift your heart up. You're not having to use that strength in your upper back. 
to lift the heart up. So just let yourself drape over your prop. Stay here, a few more breaths. Feeling the artistry your heart creates. Seeing the world with a touch of beauty and a hint of joy by allowing your heart energy to move into your eyes. All together, let's breathe. Big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And then let's start to move off of your prop. So lift up as little as you can just to get that prop out of the way. And I know some of you feel that your practice is not complete without an inversion. You're welcome to take a shoulder stand here, would be the most appropriate, but you also could move into headstand or handstand. If you need that inversion, take it. If you're not feeling like an inversion now, you're just gonna hug your knees into your chest and rock across your back. If you're inverting, you can stay there. The rest of us are gonna take a twist to each side. So take both knees over to the right. Arms to a T. And then inhale, knees up. And exhale, knees to the left. Inhale, knees up, hug your knees into your chest. And then on and exhale, stretch out into Shavasana. So take up space here. If you can, widen the legs out, widen the arms out. Feel the deep connection of those three parts, but especially of the heart. Feel that energy that imbues everything that you do. With grace, with beauty, with joy.
before you begin to move your body, take a moment to feel that special energy that happens when you can harness what is happening in your heart. Feel energy flow from your heart down through your arms into your fingertips and then begin to move your fingers and roll your wrists. Wave your toes, roll your ankles. Take a breath in and as you exhale, roll over to your right side if that's comfortable for you. Take a moment to honor yourself, to honor that wild and beautiful energy of the heart that has its own language. And then on an exhale, come up to a seat. Draw your hands together in front of your heart. Now that we have mind, body, and heart, Join together now that we've harnessed the energy of the heart. Let's send some of that energy out to the essential workers, to those who are sick, to those who are in need. I hope you're able to go through your day using heart energy to guide you. Namaste. Thanks everybody.